sustaining us. You know, the life that even though you're seeing from here, when Jesus called you, you just have to move from here and be with Jesus. Amen? Amen. So sometimes in our lives, if you are, you know, thinking that you are being treated like a matchy today, you know, are there people telling you that you're not qualified, that you're a failure, that you're never going to be enough? You have to hear this. God is saying, oops, God is saying this to you, brothers and sisters. God is doing something new. So the same way He raised up Matthew from that evil doing, this is the same way He's going to raise you up to write your own gospel, not with an ink and pen, but with the daily lives, the daily words and deeds that you're going to do in your life. So, balikan lang natin, when Jesus called Matthew, uh, this 3% is actually representing the population wherein, uh, nung time kasi na yun, 97% of the people doesn't uh, only knew how to write. So, they only know how to write their name. So, 3% is the person, yung population na marunong lang magbasa at magsulat. And Matthew was part of it. So, when Jesus invited Matthew, so, he abandoned everything. He abandoned his uh, tax book, his tax books, um, even the table that he wrote on, yung ginagamit niya for as a tax collector, he abandoned. So from this place, he go with Jesus. But we believe, brothers and sisters, that actually Matthew did not abandon everything. So he actually brought one thing with him, and he brought his pen. So he brought his pen when he was a tax collector, he is doing evil, he is doing bad things, he's hurting people. When he moved with Jesus, he brought his pen. So the very, you know, the same tool that he used to hurt people is the same tool that he used to heal people. Amen. So the same tool that he used to do evil, when he's with Jesus, he turns to Jesus, now he used for good. So the question now, brothers and sisters, is what is your pen? What is that skill that God or that you can bring to God to make His love known to the world? So as you reflect on that, I want you to remember this. God is doing something new. Be blessed. Let's honor the Word of God. Thank you.